gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher, coming at you pumped up, coming at you hardcore, and coming at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, and this is the kind of video I have not done in a long time, and this pertains to Pokemon competitive guides, reviews, whatever you want to call it, because I've been just all over the place when it comes to just making videos in general, and more specifically, this series, okay? I did the starters, I did the Ultra Beast, I did the Legendaries, but now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get back on track and review the other kind of Pokemon. The Pokemon that you find in the wild, the common Pokemon, and the not-so-common and quite scary Pokemon. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's aim for 30 likes and let's get the start, shall we? So, in this video, we are going to be going over to Canon, or as my buddy Bruce calls him, Tuki Tuki. So, you could say, my brother, this video is for you. So, what we got going on here, we're going to be taking a look at the typing. It is that of flying and normal. Now, it's a pretty standard, pretty common typing, but you do have two immunities right off the bat. That being to ghost, because you're normal typing and ground because of your flying typing. You also resist bug and grass, and I gotta say, I love those set of resistances, as well as immunities. Now, however, you are weak to the likes of electric, ice, and rock, so you got to make sure that you don't get your wings zapped, frozen, and just completely crushed by rocks. Not to mention, with you having a weakness to rock, you also are weak to stealth rocks too, so please keep that in mind. So up next, we take a look at the abilities. The first one is going to be Keen Eye. Now, Keen Eye is an ability that it kind of pales in comparison to the other two abilities. What this does is it makes sure that you have your accuracy never lowered. So regardless of what happens, if your opponents were to use something like double team or sand attack or something, your moves will always uh, end up hitting uh, depending on the accuracy. So basically, as long as you have 100 uh, base accuracy moves, they won't miss. At least as far as I'm concerned anyways. Uh, now I could be wrong on that, but let's actually just go ahead and click on Keen Eye there real quick. And let's just wait for this bitch to load. Let's just wait for it to load. So Pokemon's accuracy cannot be lowered. Opponent's evasion boosts are ignored and decreases wild encounters rate. So yes, uh, this ability has a little bit more to it than I thought. So getting back on track, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the next ability is going to be Sheer Force. Now, it's a damn shame that this Pokemon right here has access to this ability, but doesn't exactly have the best moves to make use of. Because, for example, what Sheer Force does is it increases the moves with secondary effects by 30%, I believe, but it removes those secondary effects. Now, to my knowledge, anyways, the only move that this Pokemon can make use of when it comes to sheer force would happen to be Flash Cannon. Now, I could very well be wrong, so let's go ahead and let's double check. So let's see what we got going on. So, okay, well, we actually, we could also make use of Flame Charge that gets sheer force boosted, but uh, it's not going to really make too, too much of a difference. Uh, and then let's go ahead and take a look. This thing also gets Flash Cannon too, which I've just got to know. How does this thing get Flash Cannon? Like, how? I just, I'm just so, like, mind-boggled on that. So let's see what other moves that we can make use of for Sheer Force. Uh, let's see anything else, anything else. Uh, we could also uh, make use of Rock Smash, but uh, it's a pretty weak-based move as it is. So... Yeah, I'd say that's probably the only three moves that can make use of when it comes to sheer force. So, unfortunately, a great ability, just a really, really, really bad move pool to make use of that ability. And then last but not least, we do have Skill Link. Now, what this ability does is it turns multi-hit moves having a 100% chance to hit five times guaranteed. Now, you guys may be familiar with the Pokemon that made this ability completely famous and somewhat broken. I'm talking about none other than Cloyster, okay? So, with that being said, overall, this Pokemon does have great abilities to make use of. Just kind of a limited move pool, but at the same time, you know, let's make this bad boy work, okay? So up next, we take a look at the stats. It's got 80 on the HP, followed by 120 on the attack, 75 in the defense, special attack, and the special defense. So a little bit of balance there, and 60 on the speed. So, clearly this Pokemon's lowest speed, or lowest stat I should say, is the speed. 
but this Pokemon does have ways of increasing its speed to which it can be a fast and powerful threat when the opportunity presents itself. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and let's navigate our way to Pokemon Showdown. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the first set that we got going on here, we're going to be taking full advantage of the ability Skill Link and the item King's Rock, okay? So, what King's Rock does is it's a move, or sorry, it's an item that uh, if the holder attacks without a chance to flinch, gain a 10% chance to flinch, okay? So, I think you guys know where I'm going with this because there's also another Pokemon that made this kind of strategy annoyingly famous. I'm talking about Chinchino, okay? So... With that being said, let's move on to the next thing being the ability. We're going to be using Skill Link in this situation. So, we then take a look at the first move, going to be Sword Stance, which raises the user attack by two stages. We then move on to Bullet Seed, which hits two to five times in a row in one turn. It's a Grass-type move. It hits for 125 base power if hit five times in a row. And because of Skill Link, it is going to hit five times in a row. So, that is going to be a very, very strong Grass-type move flying at you big time. And then we have ourselves a Rock Blast, which is a Rock-type version of Bullet Seed with a little bit less accuracy, but uh, Rock Blast, like, I, I am just so bewildered and so mind-blown that this thing gets Rock Blast. It's just insane. But anyways, like, this right here, we already got great coverage. And then, okay, and then, ladies and gentlemen, the last move is, in fact, going to be Brave Bird. Now, one move I kind of want to uh, make a lot of real quick is going to be its signature move known as Beak Blast. Now, what happens is, is that this is a charge move here, and it will burn the foe on contact if uh, they end up, uh, you know, using a move, and this Pokemon is charging its beak. So, that's actually a pretty interesting move we got going on there. So, I mean... It's a really solid gimmicky move, but it does pale in comparison to the likes of Brave Bird. So then we take a look at the EV spread. It's going to be a real simple and straightforward EV spread of a jolly nature, max attack, max speed. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a couple of options. Uh, if you don't want to have Sword Stance and instead you want to have something like Flame Charge, so that way it'll boost your speed by one stage, you can go for something like that as well if you want. I mean, if you don't want the power and instead you just kind of want to have the gimmicks and the out speed and by gimmicks i'm talking about uh you know using king's rock skill link you know getting a whole bunch of flinches and shit with bullet seed and rock blast you can do that too and you can also rock the speed big time with the use of flame charge not to mention okay if you use flame charge you are not walled by steel types because steel type pokemon are generally resistant to the likes of grass rock and uh bird well sorry not bird sorry flying <laughs> oh my god but with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next set that we got going on here. Going to be a choice band set, okay? Now, this set right here is also going to be utilizing Skill Link. Now, Choice Band is a item that will lock you into one move, but boosts the power of your moves by 50%. And, whoa, okay. Coming off a of base 120 attack, this Pokemon does not fuck around, okay? So, the first move that we got going on is, without a shadow of doubt, going to be Brave Bird, because... We need to have that flying type stab, right? We need to have that flying type stab to be able to completely own victories. So, up next, we have ourselves Bullet Seed and Rock Blast. Take advantage of Skill Link. We should kind of go without saying here at this point. And then we also have ourselves U-Turn, because it is always a great thing to have U-Turn on a choice set, so that way it can more or less be used for scouting, you know what I'm saying? So, with all that being said, like, there is actually just one more thing I kind of want to touch base on real quick. This Pokemon gets access to Brick Break for some odd reason. Like, how, like, does it break bricks with its beak? Like, with its claws, with its wings? Like, how does that happen? Like, that's just crazy, okay? So, you can use that to replace either Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, or U-Turn, depending on if your team is lacking fighting-type coverage. So then, ladies and gentlemen, we take a look at the EV spread. It is going to be the exact same sort of moveset, or the EV spread as the last moveset is. A Jolly Nature with max speed, max attack. Uh, you want to have this thing be as fast and as hard hitting as possible. Now, one more thing I want to point out, ladies and gentlemen, you can use a Choice Scarf if you want. So that way, instead of increasing your attack by one stage, you increase the speed by one stage by giving you a better chance to outspeed your opponent. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to move on to the next set here. And that is... Take a look at this, man. We actually have ourselves a Choice Spec set for 2 Cannon. Now, 
this right here, okay? I I, I got I kind of gotta give props where props is due. You know, PokeMMD made light of uh, of this set right here, and I just gotta say, damn, like this is like a Gen 7 version of Swellow up in this bitch. So what we got going on here, we got ourselves choice specs, which works the exact same way as the other choice items where you're locked into one move, but the difference is is that the holder's special attack is increased by 50%. And then we go for Sheer Force, and what this does, this Pokemon is attacks with secondary effects that have 1.3 times the power, but nullifies those effects. Now, take a look at the move we got here. Boom Burst. You see what I mean when I say that this thing is like, like a, basically a second version of, to, of a Swello. Like, this thing gets Boom Burst, and this thing hits so ridiculously hard. Like, that's crazy. And if you thought that was something... Uh, yeah, it gets access to overheat too. Like, how, how, how does this happen? How does this happen? Like, I'm, I'm just so bewildered. Like, that means the steel type Pokemon are not gonna be able to switch in whatsoever. And if you thought that you'd be safe with rock type Pokemon because boom burst and overheat are resisted by rock, well, how about Flash Cannon, baby? And this actually gets Sheer Force boosted too. Uh, and it destroys rock type Pokemon. So, Overall, you have really neato coverage up in this shit. That's so crazy. And then lastly, we are going to use U-Turn because even though we're using a special set, you always want to have something like U-Turn for scouting. So that way, if the situation is not exactly favorable in this in this regard, you are most definitely going to want to have U-Turn to do damage and to scout to see what your opponent is going to do. So then we take a look at the EV spread right here. It is going to be a modest nature with max special attack and max speed. Now, as PokeMMD pointed out here, in this generation, you use a Choice Specs Boom Burst on an Entei, you will Oko it with rocks on the field. So, yeah, like that is just, that is ridiculously deceptively powerful, man. Woo! That's crazy, man. But you can opt to run a Timid Nature if you want to have a little bit more speed. But my god, you are going to be sacrificing the power, man. I am telling you that now. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and let's move on to the next set here that I actually kind of, uh, I kind of wanted to tweak around a little bit here. So what we got going on here, we have ourselves a pseudo double dance set. So basically, we have a way to boost up the attack and a way to boost up the speed. So what we got going on here, we have ourselves a life orb in this situation, which is going to be increasing the damage of the moves by 30% at the cost of 10% of your health. And then we're going to be using Keen Eye because to be quite honest with you, like you're not going to be able to make use of any any other abilities so uh, at least with keen eye here the pokemon's accuracy cannot be lowered and it ignores evasion boost so yeah i mean keen eye is really the best way to go about this in my opinion so first up we have ourselves sword dance should kind of go without saying it is going to boost up the, the attack by two stages up next we have ourselves roost which is going to heal 50 percent of your maximum health in one turn and given the fact that you do have life orb this move and the item goes hand in hand because you know, you're going to be wearing yourself down with Life Orb Recoil, you're going to be taking hits, all that stuff. So you're definitely going to want to have something to heal your health up to 50% maximum. So I mean, that right there is a pretty good combination. So up next, we have ourselves Flame Charge, which is a 100% chance to increase your speed by one stage. And then we get to the stab, we get to the big B, we get to Brave Bird, baby. And this is 120 base power, has a 33% recoil, so... You definitely are going to want to have to roost up after a Brave Bird, especially if you do a lot of damage. In fact, run the recoil for Life Orb 2. So then we take a look at the EV spread. Should kind of go without saying it is going to be a very basic jolly nature. Max attack, max speed. How you doing? I mean, you want to have as much of uh, a potential to sweep as possible. So the last set that we got going on here, we actually have ourselves a physically based mixed attacker, okay? Now, this right here is going to be pretty damn cool if I do say so myself. And there's also a couple ways that you can go about running this set, okay? The first set is with the ability Keen Eye if you're not going to be using any skill link boosted moves like Bullet Seer or Rock Blast. But if you are going to be using one of those two moves to replace either U-Turn or Overheat or even Roost even, then you can use skill link so that way you will be able to hit five times with either Bullet Seed or Rock Blast. But in this situation right here, Keen Eye is going to be your best bet, okay? 
and the item for choice is going to be life orb so that way you can have a 30 percent increase in the damage of your moves at the cost of 10 percent of your health now once again she kind of go without saying we are going to be needing to use brave bird here in this situation because it gives you really solid flying type stab up next we have ourselves u-turn and this is a great way to scout and do damage and given the fact that you are going to be running max attack in this situation it is going to hurt and then we have ourselves Overheat. Now, Overheat is for them pesky-ass Steel-type Pokemon that want to try and switch in and ruin your fun. And then lastly, we have ourselves Roost. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there are other options to run in this set. Like, if you want to replace Roost with something like uh, Bullet Seed or Rock Blast, then make sure you also replace the ability Keen Eye with Skill Link. Now, as we take a look at the Eevee Spreader here, we're going to be having a naive nature, so that way you'll have as much speed as possible. We're going to be still running max attack, max speed with four special attack EVs. So, uh, this thing is pretty much meant to be a physical attacker, but we do have overheat just for that extra bit of boom, extra bit of flare. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen... That right there is going to conclude this video, so I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, then make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. It is, like I said at the beginning of the program, it's aim for 30 likes, and if you want more content like this, then make sure you subscribe, support, stay positive, and don't forget to turn on notifications, that way you'll be the first to know when you see me upload next. And if this is your very first time ever viewing my content and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for, man? Woo! Hit the sub button up real nice and join our community today because we are burning a rubber on the highway to 5K. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. Much love to you cool cats, and I will see you next upload.